Okay, so in the previous video, I spoke to you all about how the body develops immunity to SARS coronavirus 2 via natural infection, right? And all of the cell death that happens and everything that happens with that, right? So now let's talk about what happens in the case of the body being presented with the mRNA vaccines offered from Moderna and from Pfizer. So that mRNA vaccine, that mRNA is basically being packaged together inside of these lipoproteins. Uh, this is basically just uh, proteins and lipids with the mRNA inside. And it's not the whole mRNA for the whole virus. It's just the mRNA for that spike protein. And we'll talk about why that's important. So the mRNA, small piece of mRNA, just for the spike protein, inside of this lipoprotein uh, bilayer, which is basically like a little small mini cell, you can think of it as that, goes and enters the cell, doesn't need ACE2 receptors or any of those things, right? Enters the cell, merges with the cell, and dumps the mRNA inside. The mRNA goes, uses our machinery in order to make copies of the spike protein. Just the spike protein. Nothing else for the virus is being made. So that spike protein is then able to just basically go and exit out of the cell. This is a simplistic version, but this is what's happening. So it goes and exits out of the cell. So now that spike protein is just kind of floating around inside of our bloodstream, and then it comes across our friend macrophage, right? So these antigen-presenting cells, dendritic cells, or macrophages, this is our Pac-Man. And what do we say Pac-Man does? Pac-Man sees it, protein, it recognizes, yo, you are not part of my normal protein that my human likes, so I'm gonna go ahead and devour you. It basically engulfs this protein, chops it up, like we said before, and what does it do? It walks around displaying pieces of the chopped up protein because that's what macrophages do, that's our predator, right? So it displays these chopped up pieces of the protein on, y'all remember what that was called? MHC2. It displays it on the surface of its cell, interacts with T cells, T cells activate B cells, B cells turn into uh, plasma cells and start to proliferate and make antibodies. These antibodies are now antibodies specific for different parts of the spike protein. So those antibodies are now going around and looking for the spike protein. So what happens when it comes across the virus? That's a good point. So when it comes across the virus, all right, it sees a virus, so there's our viral cell. All right, there's our RNA inside of it. There's our good old friend spike protein on the outside. So now somebody has already been given the vaccine and how are they gonna be immune to this? Well, the body has tons of this antibody floating around specifically towards the spike protein. So what does it do? It goes and it blocks the spike protein, okay? So it blocks the spike protein. So now, if that spike protein, I'm sorry, if that virus tries to go and invade a cell, it can't because it's surrounded by that antibody. And that allows that what we call antibody antigen complex or basically antibody covered virus now floats around and these can actually attach to other viruses, start to clump together and basically make it easier for the immune system to see it, activate and basically destroy it before it has a chance to cause any of that cellular damage. So notice what you don't see from the vaccine model. I didn't show anything about kidneys, about lungs, about the GI tract, about blood vessels, because you're not getting that significant level of cell-mediated destruction. You're not getting the virus invading the cells, wearing the cell out, the cell waving the white flag, and those natural killer cells coming, poking holes in it and killing the cells and triggering apoptosis. You don't get any of that. Okay, you're gonna get some infection. You're gonna, I'm sorry, you're gonna get some inflammation. All right, you're gonna get some uh, some of the same types of reactions that you probably get from typical vaccines. But this is what we expect to happen. Okay, now someone else had asked me about well, what happens, you know, to the RNA that's left over. I mean, again, it's the same thing that happens to all RNA. It's gonna eventually get chopped up inside of the cell. So either it gets used and turned into protein, or it gets chopped up. But there's nothing else for the vaccine to do. So it's not necessarily gonna cause a whole lot of damage. So in any case, this is now the difference between a vaccine approach to immunity versus the natural approach. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I can tell you this, I had COVID-19 and I could really feel my lungs getting destroyed and all my vessels getting destroyed. I could feel it, it doesn't feel good. 
you don't want to take the chance of getting COVID-19. So please trust science. Trust me. All right. I'm not leaving y'all astray. I'm not getting paid to do any of this. I just want to save lives. So if you get the chance, please get the vaccine, save a life, save a family member's life. All right. Y'all have a good day.